So this article is called Mary San Giovanni Makes the Best Monsters by Jay Wilburn. All right, Mary San Giovanni is by far one of the most talented authors in horror today. She is a singular creative voice in a modern in modern cosmic horror, and her depth of knowledge about the subgenre is incredible. I suspected as much from reading her work, but listening to her Cosmic Shenanigans uh, podcast opened my eyes to the vast library of knowledge she possesses about many instances of of cosmic horror in books, comics, movies, visual art, and more. I'm going to share the um, link to this article real quick for anybody that's interested in chat. You can check it out on your own if you want. Um, Cosmic Horror, of course, goes back to H.B. Lovecraft, but then expands into other authors. And in the modern era, you know, late 20th century and into the 21st century, there are a number of great horror authors that um, use... uh, Cosmic horror exclusively for stories, but then also borrow from those elements for other stories. So it's kind of the cosmic horror is kind of that idea of the existential, unknowable uh, things that go on. Uh, a lot of people know a lot more about it than I do, but um, I'm a fan of it. And there are a lot more authors that kind of lean into that tradition a little bit in order to build up horror in their work. Uh, Mary San Giovanni is exceptional at it, both when she she borrows from it and when she writes in the subgenre specifically. Cosmic Shenanigans. Arguably one of the most successful stories I've personally written is a, is the short story Dead Song. It was included in Best Horror of the Year Volume 5, this is me talking, shortly after I started writing full time. It was a weird little zombie story that takes place in a sound booth for recording voiceovers on a documentary about the zombie apocalypse. The main character has no name. It is all tell and no show. Uh, when people hated the story, I understood. When they loved it, I was confused. After it was accepted in Best Horror, I reread it because I had no idea why the esteemed editor thought it was good, much less that good. All right, so Best Horror of the Year comes out once a year. Um, they're up to volume like 11, 12, 13, somewhere in there. And uh, I was in volume five years ago. And again, it was just this little story that was like in a nothing um, charity anthology and uh, for some reason, Alan Datlow, who's an esteemed editor who uh, does those best horror books, uh, found the story, liked it, and put it in the book. To this day, I still have no idea how she found it. Years later, I was running hills, training for a 5K, and listening to Cosmic Shenanigans. San Giovanni was discussing an older, classic cosmic horror story, short story, and explained the elements of the subgenre and why they worked. As things clicked for me, I lost my rhythm enough that I almost fell on my face. That weird little zombie story that marked an accidental milestone in my career worked because I had inadvertently used the elements of cosmic horror. That's why it appealed to the editor. She thought she was just writing monster stories. So back to talking about San Giovanni. I interviewed San Giovanni live on Twitch in October of 2020. In one clip from the episode, she talks about how she accidentally discovered she was writing cosmic horror. She says that she thought she was writing monster stories. Uh, From all the short stories and novel-length works I've read from her, I'm led to believe that she comes by her abilities writing the subgenre instinctually. Her personality, mindset, and experiences honed her storytelling in this direction. Then her scholarly work, her broad reading, and her practice writing the stories she is drawn to added real mystery that sets her apart from other authors in and out of Cosmic Horror. The entire interview is good. You should check that out, too. And you can find that again in the article. Uh, Again, Mary St. Giovanni is just... The way she writes sets her apart from other people who write similar things to what she does, in my opinion. And that's why I interviewed her and did this article for Lit Reactor. Mary San Giovanni may be one of the few authors who actually invented new monsters. And this came from real practice in the craft. Even when she did a horror story with Wonder Woman in DC Comics, she turned that superhero into an avenging spirit with some real terror about her. She has a paranormal investigator's character in her Kathy Ryan novels. In these books, unlike other such um, books, San Giovanni unlocks real terrifying threats for her character to overcome. These are horror novels on, of, a, of top caliber, and the things creeping out onto the pages from other worlds are unique. Where she really shines in the invention of monsters is in her Hollower books. 
These entities are so alien that they feel dangerous just to read about. They empty out their victims in an existentially horrifying way. I have not seen written nearly as well with any other monster in any other writer's hands. My skin crawled as I read about these monsters observing us in our everyday activities. It was like being stalked by something unknowable as I read the book, like they could look out from the story and observe me the same way. They inhabit victims to use their for their purposes. They use the target's knowledge to create specifically designed horrors, and as they leave the humans behind, that knowledge of us slips from their minds like less than an afterthought. Horror of intrusion. All right, in this final section, I say Stephen King utilized a particular type of horror I didn't really have a name for. I called it the horror of being known. In a later work, he identified it as the horror of intrusion, and that was a better name by far. He was describing this otherworldly threat and the invasive way it crept into the character's mind. Uh, Mary San Giovanni and her work in the Hollower books in particular uses the horror of intrusion with her monsters and her cosmic threats better than Stephen King in my estimation. I love Stephen King's work and think he is an expert of cosmic horror in a way many readers don't realize. San Giovanni focuses that craft in a much more intense way and her monsters in The Hollower are the best example of that among many great stories to her name. She may have written cosmic horror partially by accident or instinct at first. Mary San Giovanni may still just be writing monster stories like she originally thought, but she is writing great monsters with deep existential dread all around. You can't go wrong with a Mary San Giovanni novel. So if you're interested, you can check out the Hollowers books, which I think are some of her best, most terrifying work. Um, the Kathy Ryan novels, uh, beginning with Behind the Door, are great too. 